Hello and welcome to the fifth Wood Framing Wall Plus Getting Started video. In this video, we're going to show you how to frame walls with openings and how to change opening framing configurations using the Wall Plus software. So as you can see, we've drawn a new wall which has a few windows, a door, and a rectangular wall opening. Since this is a getting started video, we will focus only on window configurations and we will show you two different ways of applying configurations for them. Once you understand how to apply configurations for windows, you will be able to apply configurations for other openings as well, because the principles are pretty much the same. So now let's frame the wall. Firstly, pick the wall instance and then click on the frame wall command and the wall plus software will automatically frame the openings using the default opening configurations. So the wall has been framed, but notice that narrower windows have different headers compared to the wider window. This is because the window configurations vary according to the width of the opening. So for example, the default window configurations frame windows narrower than 1.5 meters with one configuration and windows wider than 1.5 meters are framed with a different configuration. And now we will show you how to create a new window configuration. So let's open the framing configurations dialog by navigating to the wall plus software tool panel. And you can find the framing configurations in the frame wall menu or in the configs menu. And you can find opening framing settings in the browser on the left. So now let's explore the dialog. At the top, we have tabs that include settings for different opening types. Currently, we're looking at window configurations. Below these tabs, the dialog is divided into two sections. The upper section includes configurations for non-structural walls, and the lower section has configurations for structural walls. Also notice the two columns with numbers. These numbers indicate the opening width span. Each span can be assigned with a different configuration. So for example, in non-structural walls, all windows up to 1500 millimeters wide will be framed using this configuration. And windows that are between 1500 millimeters and 10,000 millimeters wide will be framed using this configuration. These width spans can be modified. So for example, I will reduce this to 8,000. And you can also add a new span and assign a different configuration for it. Or if you don't need it, you can also delete the span. Besides windows, there are configurations for doors, generic opening families and system openings, window and window joints, as well as window and door joints. Please note that in window, door, and system opening tabs, configurations vary depending on opening width spans. In the meantime, configurations for window plus window and window plus door joints vary depending on the join width. So now let's go back to the window framing tab, and we will demonstrate how to create a new window configuration, and then we will apply it to windows narrower than 1500 millimeters. Let's start by clicking on the Edit Configurations button here. At the top of this new dialog, we can select configuration that we want to use as our base. And to create a new configuration, we can click Save As button, then rename it. I will type in New and click OK. Now we have three different configurations for Windows. After saving this new configuration, you won't need to redo it again. Even after closing all dialogues, the configuration will remain and you can use it in the future as long as you save it. Remember, we are creating window configuration only to the linked wall type. These configurations will not apply to windows and walls that are not linked to this framing configuration. This dialog also includes tabs which contain settings for different framing elements around windows. For example, we are currently looking at the Kingstut settings. Then we also have custom header, custom top support, custom sill, 
trimmers. And we can also select a trimmer type. Then we can also prepare settings for top cripple trimmer. Bottom cripple trimmer. Cripples. And finally, we have the offsets tab where we can adjust offsets for all framing elements around openings. So let's go back to the custom header tab and make some changes to the window header. As you can see in the symbolic preview window, we only have one plate. We can increase the number to two plates and we can also add a couple of rotated plates on top. Then we can also adjust its position to external. And finally, we should tick the box below cuts. Now, the rotated plates will cut the cripple studs above. So now that we are ready with a new window configuration, we can press Save button. And we need to make sure that a new configuration has been applied to the selected window width span. Now we can press Save. So now what we need to do is pick the wall instance and then navigate to the wall plus tool panel and click on modify other menu and select update by wall link command. As a result, the software has automatically updated headers for narrower windows using new window configuration. You can see how much time and energy the software has saved us. We only had to make a few configuration adjustments and didn't need to waste time on manually tweaking framing elements. As mentioned at the start of the video, there are two methods of applying configurations to openings. We showed you the first method. Now we're going to show the second method. We can also apply configurations to openings according to their type. So for example, I have replaced one of the narrower windows with this taller window. When we frame the wall, both narrower windows are framed with the same header. This is because both windows fall within the same width range. But let's say that we want this taller window type to have a different header. For example, we can apply the same header that was used in these narrower windows before we created and applied the new window configuration. To achieve this, we need to go back to framing configurations and copy the name of the default window configuration that was previously used for the narrower windows. Once the window configuration name is copied to clipboard, select the window, go to Edit Type, and paste the configuration name into this framing configuration parameter here. By doing so, the software is going to override window configuration for this window type. Then select the wall instance, click on frame wall, and this time we're going to delete and reframe the wall. And as a result, this window type has a different header because it was framed with a different window configuration. Hope you enjoyed this wall plus getting started video. And until the next time.